there is a rising global sentiment about the control of women's bodies, control the decisions that women can have on whether they want to have children or not. And of course, this is not shocking in the very least if you read history. I think it's very much shocking in the sense that we've always thought that, you know, as human beings, we are the most intelligent species on this planet. We've always thought that as the years go by, we become more and more intelligent, but that doesn't seem to be the case. We're seeing this really play out in real time for the United States, where a lot of the states amongst the many states a lot of them are actually revisiting old laws that permitted abortion and they're actually overturning these laws basically returning american women to the 1700s 1600s 1500s well before america became civilized well can we really say that we're living in a civilized world when people think that the only way they can get women to have children is by forcing them and by forcing i actually mean if you read the news in a lot of these banned states in the united states over 60,000 women have been raped and forced to keep those pregnancies. So basically as human beings we've gotten to a point where instead of creating conducive environments for women to become mothers, you're preferring to rape women and girls and forcing them to carry these pregnancies. If you're still waiting for the dystopian world that is always depicted in the movies, well I'm sorry to break it to you but we're already living in that dystopian world. And this is just the perfect example of the topic of today which is weaponized pregnancy. In this case a lot of people People are using the law, using the Bible to try and control other people's lives, to try and weaponize pregnancies against women. But there's also another aspect of this weaponized pregnancy that we rarely hear a lot of people talking about, but it's something that is very much rampant. And this is the idea that a lot of men have where they think that, or oh, if you want to humble a woman get her pregnant if you want to show a woman her place get her pregnant this is something that i've always had ever since i was young i'm from a very male dominated family and also a tribe and because most of the times when we have conversations i often find myself to be the only woman there and because they don't consider me to be a worthy human being a lot of these men just speak their minds they say whatever it is that they want because in their heads they know that they are just amongst other men but I'm always there as an observer and it's just cathartic cathartic to just hear them speak about women Ugh. the sentiment of pregnancy humbles a woman pregnancy is the best way to control a woman it's just one of the horrible things and I've also had this from a lot of people that know me they're like you're opinionated wait until you get pregnant wait until you get a child and you know this is the kind of speak that actually encourages men to molest and assault a lot of young girls and women because the connotation behind this is always if you approach a girl or a woman and they refuse your advances then you have every right to force yourself on them get them pregnant and then now they are going to be subservient to you <sighs> it's just horrible and not just hearing men say this but seeing other men just condoning this saying nothing about this laughing about it actually the other day i was watching i think it's kenya's first reality tv show and one of the characters said i am going to find a man for this girl that is just code for she needs to be impregnated so that she can shut her mouth it's very hard to actually grow in such environments when you hear men say such things about women because it really just makes you realize that when things go upside down like during a war the people that you think to be a family they're the same people that are going to turn on you because they don't even see you a woman in their family as a worthy human being you're just a piece of meat that they can eat at any time i mean the only thing that is really holding them back is the idea of family <laughs> And it's really not a coincidence that a lot of domestic violence cases start when a woman is pregnant because a lot of these men know exactly that this is a time where you're the most vulnerable most times you can't even protect yourself because your body is dealing with a lot of things how did we become so unfortunate to just be stuck with such a species and somebody else has the audacity to talk about you know after death there's heaven and hell no <laughs> this is hell <laughs> you want to tell me there's another place that's worse than the world that we live in and you know the thing that really frustrates me is people tell me why do you talk about these issues they don't affect you i don't have to experience something for me to talk about it because at the end of the day whether you keep quiet or not as long as you were born a woman you're always in danger of experiencing all these atrocities and that's why it's really our duty as women 
to talk about these issues because if you keep quiet today what happens when you find yourself a victim when you see something wrong going on and you keep quiet about it you are also participating in legalizing it and you can lie to yourself a thousand and one times that it's none of your business but when it happens to you when you become a victim are you going to now expect people to listen to you to your story well you didn't listen to the others why would they make an exception for you this is something that a lot of us need to really understand and especially a lot of women that have internalized misogyny women that think that they can make excuses for the bad behavior of men the ones that actually teach a lot of men how to be misogynistic but obviously life has a way of always reminding you that as long as you're a woman the world doesn't really care about you and this also brings me to this other idea of weaponized pregnancy where it's the women who are actually perpetuating it there's so many other women who tell other young women if you want to have a certain kind of man but they're not swaying your way you can trap them with a pregnancy that is also a form of weaponized pregnancy and essentially a lot of these women think that once they've trapped this man then he's going to stay in this relationship and most of the times you will hear this being told to a lot of women in marriages that are very much dysfunctional they'll always be told you know if you get a child you know the marriage is just gonna be fine that's also a form of weaponized pregnancy because pregnancy is not going to solve the problems that you had in your marriage it's just going to push them aside because once a child comes into your life you're going to have all the time to them but it's not going to solve all the other problems that you had and most times these other problems are going to become a burden on this child because you as a parent you are traumatized the father is traumatized the mother is traumatized how are you going to create a healthy environment for your child Child. essentially when it comes to this aspect of weaponized pregnancy whether it's forcing women to have children instead of allowing for abortions whether it's impregnating women so that you can humble them whether it's trapping a man with this pregnancy this seems like a game for a lot of adults but the people who are actually victims in this it's not really the adults it's the children at the end of the day because we end up with children who are born in situations where they are unwanted and these children just become traumatized in these environments they might find themselves suffering a lot of psychological emotional physical abuse because the parents are always reminding them you are unwanted I didn't want to have you you ruined my life I sacrificed a lot to have you and some of these children grow up to become good citizens miraculously you know but many of them end up being alcoholics drug addicts serial killers and now you're wondering oh my god what happened them become the children that go to schools with guns to kill other children unfortunately as human beings we always try to think that bad things are happening out of the blue but if you look very closely a lot of bad things that happen in the world of today is solely because of the decisions that adults made and one of those decisions is this idea of forcing women to have children that they don't want to have or forcing men to father children they didn't even want you're gonna talk about being pro-life and yet you're not putting yourself in a position to be responsible for the life that you forced someone else to give birth to when we get into these arguments a lot of people think that they're just ideological arguments but at the end of the day they're people who are actually being impacted and most times it's children oh we are so stupid as human beings my god